Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to be replacing the mechanical seal on my CX500 engine. Um, basically, all this seal is is the water seal for the drive shaft that comes through, which actually powers the impeller. Um, if this went, um, you would normally get little drips of water coming out of this weep hole down here, which was a safety feature. So, if the mechanical seal went, it didn't just go up against the oil seal and into the crankcase, it would actually weep out the hole before it would do that. So, even though it wasn't leaking when I had it running, but to be honest, I don't think the actual water system was getting up to any pressure to actually test that, I thought, bugger it, I'm going to get a new seal. However, Normally you would have to take the back of these engine cases off to actually press this mechanical seal out of the case. However, there is a method which is called the Sheps method where you basically use the innards out of the new seal, which is this one here, and replace it with the old seal's innards and basically use the old seal's cup instead. So the first step which I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the innards out of this mechanical seal and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's quite easy. This is the first time I've ever done this and I can only do one take so this should be fun. So if you give us two seconds I'll just... So this is my setup. As you can see I've got my mechanical seal actually in the vise. Now this is just holding the cup. Now I'm not going to be using the cup so it doesn't really matter if it distorts slightly because I'm just going to be pulling the innards out. So what I'm going to do is using this blow torch. I'm not going to be using it on the blow torch setting. It does have a little lighter setting so I'm going to be using it on that. I'm going to just basically heat up the bottom of this cup which hopefully will basically heat up the glue, release the hold it has on the innards of this seal and it should just pop out. You shouldn't really need to force it out, I've been told, so yeah, I'm going to give it a go. I've got a screwdriver here which I'm just going to literally stick on the underneath of the spring, just like that, and what I'm going to do is, as it's melting, I'm going to just lever it up and see if it'll come up, so without further ado, I shall try and do it. So I'll just set me, don't need a high flame. Now, with some seals, the seal here is sizzle when the glue goes. So, we shall see. Just stick that in there and just lightly pull it up. Now, as you can see, I'm just going around the bottom of the cup. Very, very, basically just spreading the heat out. I'm not localising the heat. Obviously, the the cup's actually metal, so it should distribute it around the around the seal. Patience is a virtue with this. Some people use hobs to heat these up, but um, I thought this was the best way. Now I'm going to fast forward this, so you're not just sitting watching me heat this up. I think we've got it. A bit more over this side. Oh, it doesn't smell too grand this side. Let's stick a bit more heat over this side and just try and pull it up. Should be able to get it out now. Oh, this is hot. Oh, that's very hot. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. One mechanical seal right there. And that's how it should look. Not burnt whatsoever. And like I say, that didn't use any heat whatsoever. There's a little bit of singe in there, but I'm not really too boshed about that. And as you can see, we have one innards out the mechanical seal, which is quite good. And like I say, that didn't take any time whatsoever, didn't take any force, and it's just come out the cup so easy. So, the, bi the biggest thing I can say with this is take your time. If you rush it, you're going to knack your mechanical seal. Now, this cost me £25, so it's not a cheap seal, and you don't want to be buying seal after seal after seal. So, like I say, patience is definitely a virtue with this job and just basically taking your time and taking it nice and slowly. So now that we have the mechanical seal out of this cup, I'm now going to take the innards out of the mechanical seal in the engine out. 
and then replace it with these ones. So that's going to be my, ne my next task. So if you give me two minutes, I'll set up the camera so it's looking at the engine and I'll just show you how to actually get the mechanical seal out of the engine or the innards out of the mechanical seal, I should say. So give me two minutes. So now that I've got the innards of the new seal out, I can now turn my attention to getting the innards of the old seal out. So basically all you need is a screwdriver or something you can use as a lever, chisel, tire levers if you want and basically just yank the innards out. Um, they're going to get chucked anyway so it doesn't matter. First off just check you can't do it by hand because sometimes they'll just fall out if they've been in the engine for a bit. Now with these ones it's actually still in there quite well. So what I'm going to do is I've got a bit of material here that's just a bit of ripped up towel which I'm going to use against the actual engine casing just so it doesn't dint the engine casing. I'm going to stick my screwdriver into the spring of the mechanical seal and I'm just literally going to pull up Ooh, there's one and a half of the bits and just basically yank the whole seal out and try to oh and it's left the seal bit in there what a that's a pain however I am not deterred because this is then the pliers job so what we'll do is Actually, the pliers might not be a good idea there. I'm going to try with the screwdriver again just to see if I can just get it out. Oh. Nope, it's literally stuck in there like nobody's business. So I might see if I've got some finer pliers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a look at my toolbox and see if I've got any finer pliers to get that out of. So if you just give us two seconds, I'll go and check. Okay, I couldn't find a smaller pair of pliers. Um, I should have some forceps somewhere, but I can't find them. So instead, I've actually got a little screwdriver. And I'm going to just go right in deep and just try and prise it out like that. So let's have a go. Mm, come on. Trying not to... Ooh, that side's gone. Right, okay. I've got one side out anyway, so just... Ah, there we go. It's gone. Come on. Come on. If you talk nice to your mechanical objects, they'll actually work to your favour. That's what I find anyway. So, there we go. There's one mechanical seal right there that's been taken out. Like I say, no doubt if I ran the engine, this seal would have been alright. However, I just wanted to make sure, and seeing as I had all the pump off anyway to check how it was inside, and I already had a mechanical seal that I'd bought, I might as well do it anyway. So, my next job is, if I just take the camera off the tripod for two seconds. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, my next job is, is just to see what's in there and have a look to see how clean it is. Now, if I get my torch, it's actually not too bad. It's just really the outer surfaces. So the glue has kept the bottom of that mechanical seal cup quite clean. So it should just be a matter of getting... I've got some wet and dry, so I'll just basically rub around the outer edges and then I'll be sticking my new seal in. So if you give me two seconds, I'll just go and get some wet and dry and set this next stage up and um, I shall be back in two So, as we can see, I've now got a nice clean mechanical seal cup. Um, basically all I did was I took some wet and dry, wrapped it around the end of this screwdriver and just rotated it within the actual seal cup itself and it took the rust right off. Um, it's 400 grit, it's just enough to take the rust off without going too far into the actual cup surface, which I don't want. And I've also went around this surface here where the impeller sits up against, just so there's no rust kind of impeding the impeller. So, yeah. So now that's all done, I can now start thinking about putting my new innards into this old seal cup. So, what I need uh, for that is a silicon kind of gasket um, glue stuff. And this is it, and um, this is what I've picked anyway, and it's Vital Black RTV. And if we turn around to the back, it's good for valve covers, oil pans, timing covers, and most importantly, water pumps. So we should be more than okay with this. This is actually a high temperature stuff, it's okay for 315C or 600F if you like your Imperial. So this should do. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this out of the packing, I'm going to show you how to put it onto your mechanical seal and then how you actually put the innards of your mechanical seal into the old seal cup. So I'll go and quickly do that and I'll be two seconds. Okay, so we've got one mechanical seal cup which is still in the engine and we have one innard 
out of a new mechanical seal which we took out earlier. So what we're going to do now is, using that sealant which I showed you before, I'm going to stick a bead of that around this surface here. Now this is the surface which actually mates up to the back end of this mechanical cup and basically the sealant acts as the glue which was there before. And what we're going to do is we're going to place that in. Um, we have to also take into account that there's two little lobes on the actual cup of the mechanical seal. And um, these match up to two little cutouts on the seal innards itself. So just take into account when you're putting it in that these have to line up. And once it's in, we're going to apply a little bit of pressure just to make sure everything's nice and seated and sealed. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use the impeller which goes on the bike and I'm just going to literally hand tighten the nut up until it actually just slightly compresses the spring just enough to know that it's basically got some force behind it to basically sit it in there until the silicon sets. So without further ado I shall go ahead and do that. So, so I've got the back end of the mechanical seal here and I've got my sealant so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to literally push the sealant and I'm just going to dub a bit of that sealant just around the bottom of that and just spread it out around there. You don't need that much, you just need enough to cover the bottom. The more you put on, the more it's going to force itself out. So just little is actually a lot in this case. So just spread it out nice and nice and evenly around the seal like a saw. Just make sure you've covered all the little bits like that. And once you've done that, replace the cap on the seal as you get sealant on your trousers like you always do and we just take note where the lobes are and we push the innards of that seal into the actual cup like so and just apply a little bit of pressure like so I'll just zoom in which just basically seats all that lovely gasket stuff in place and like I say what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assemble the bits onto this shaft, like so. Just like that. I'm not going to put the washer on yet. And just hand tighten that up, just so there's some force against that mechanical seal when it's set. And we'll give that maybe an hour or two to dry and we should have one complete mechanical seal. Oops, I'll just move the camera there. And basically that's it. It wasn't actually that hard. Um, I'm, I'm going to admit this, um, I admitted before in the video when I was actually planning on doing this method it did scare me a little bit because like I say I was ripping apart a seal which was 25 quid basically and if I ruined it I would have to buy a new one. So yeah. But to be honest, if you just take your time and you're patient and you don't heat the actual cup off of the seal up too much, um, it comes out quite nicely. As you can see, this is the the new seal's cup, which I took it out of. And as we can see, there's no rubber being left in there at all. You don't need that much heat. Um, with this seal, I literally just use the lighter option on me blowtorch to actually put it in. So with that, we hopefully should have a nice watertight seal there now. And um, this engine should run for many miles without needing the new mechanical seal put in. So I'm hoping this has helped a lot of you out because I know there's no videos out on the net of how to actually replace the innards of a mechanical seal or Shep's method as people call it. So hopefully people see that and actually think it's actually helpful and hopefully it'll help a lot of people. So with that I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. I think I deserve it. Um, as always um, see you soon and I've keep just safe. forgot one of the most important things in this seal. <laughs> this is called the polo mint and the polo mint actually sits within the impeller and basically it goes black side down and this white surface here actually sits flush to the surface of the back side of the impeller and this sits up against the mechanical seal and this is what actually creates the sealing effect of the actual mechanical seal. Um, one thing you have to keep in mind though is you can't get any oil on this surface here, even your own skin oils. So before you fully assemble it, just clean this down with some um, 
cleaner which doesn't leave a residue and then put some washing up liquid on and basically what the wash, washing up liquid does is it just creates a nice little lubrication liquid which lubricates the, the actual seal until the water system primes and basically the water gets to the seal and basically helps it seal itself so with that, um, one of the most important parts which I nearly forgot, I hope this has helped some years out. Like I say, it did scare us when I first thought about doing this method, but it was quite simple. You just have to take your time, and it's took me less than an hour to do. So, like I say, I hope this has helped some years out. Um, as always, keep safe.